So these are called the blocks. The ship doesn't sit on the dock bottom, it sits on these uh, blocks. And uh, when a ship is built, there's a, a block diagram that uh, the yard produces a plan of where the blocks should go. So next time you go to dry dock, it sits in the right place. We send those plans ahead and the dock master has the blocks all laid out in the right position before we arrive, flood the dock with water, and then we bring the ship, float the ship in, he tells us the exact position, we pump the water out, and in theory we should land very smoothly in exactly the right position. And then they come, last, once the water's all out, they come in and just put the final little bits of wood in and the chocks just to make everything super secure. I haven't painted the hull this time because it was in really good condition but the, the main big reason for being in a dry dock is so you can inspect the underwater hull, you can paint it with anti-foul so that it stays nice and clean, uh, the more weeds you have the slower the ship goes so we inspect and paint um, but of course there are some of these blocks in the way so next year when you come they will move the blocks slightly so you can paint the bits you missed the year before and, and so on. Uh, but this year, really good finish on the hull when it was blasted and uh, primed two years ago, actually. And, uh, so all we had to do was just jet wash off all the, um, the weeds off the side. 